How organic can you get? In the case of milk, there's a whole new level. Milk from cows who are fed only grass, not grain. And this uber organic milk is giving ordinary organic milk a run for its money. Here to tell us more is WSJ reporter Sarah Nassauer. Sarah, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So this one goes to 11, huh? Is that the idea behind this? That's the idea. Grass yeah, I mean Fed milk. It's, it's grass fed, so the cows are eating grass in the summer, you know, hay in the winter, and a few other things. But the idea is for the consumers that are interested in this is that it's getting away from the feed that most of the cows, you know, where we get our milk, that's what they eat. Right. And now, is it supposed to be better for you? Yeah, it's about the fats. Okay. Um, you know, some sh research has shown that this grass fed milk has more uh, omega 3s uh. than conventional milk, um, organic milk does. And organic milk, cows are already grazing a little bit, but this is, they're grazing all the time. Right, and so who's regulating this though? I mean, I understand there's a little bit of no controversy one really. over grass. Yeah, this I mean, one, there's no definition one. of grass fed right now right. that the USDA has set. Okay. Like there is for, you know, there's, certi there's a certified USDA organic program. That's a totally different thing. Right. And so this is a totally new thing and it's still a very niche thing. This is not taking over the world. But it's selling well for Whole Foods. Right now, Whole Foods, this, this Organic Valley whole milk, so full fat, is the top selling organic milk right All now. All right, well, let's get in this, let's get a little taste test going here because I understand that taste is part of it, right? That's what so, people say? Yeah, this, I mean, okay. this is all about, you know, <sighs> more consumers want food that either there's a perceived or a real health benefit, often with a premium price. This is almost $6 for a half gallon. This thing, and this is the one that's the big seller at Whole Foods, yeah, right? Yeah, this, this one is here. the one let's that's really it. increasing at Whole Foods. So there should be some difference in taste because it depends on what cows are eating. Let me, let me compare it to the other yes, stuff. This because is just whole this milk. This is just regular whole milk. Whole okay. organic milk. Let me see. <laughs> call me crazy, but it I It tastes can't. like milk. Yeah, call me crazy, but I'm not sure I can taste the difference. Let me see. Mm. Maybe this is a tiny bit grassier, but I don't know if that's the power of suggestion. I mean, yeah, the, the difference is not huge to this me. This is not a scientific test. That's right. <laughs> well, what do you think, Sarah? I mean, is it worth it? For me, I just find it to be a really, in, this is happening in the food industry overall. Right. Even big packaged food companies right now are struggling with this idea that there's consumers that are drawn to this ultra premium level of whatever it is. Right. Campbell's is introducing an organic soup for the first time. So this is, this type of consumer is now out there and companies have to figure out how to please them. I have to be honest, because. I am this type of consumer in the sense that I always buy organic milk. I think it's healthier for my kids. I do think it tastes a little bit better than non-organic milk, but I'm not quite sure I'm the kind of consumer that would pay an extra two bucks for the grass-fed organic milk. Yeah, it's you a know? huge so price leap. It is a leap. It is a leap. I, the jury's still out. All right, Sarah, thank you so much thank for you. that.